Good morning, fellow students. Um, I'm Jared, and I'm going to show you my project on exploring and colonizing another world. So my topic is explore and colonize another world. Exploring and colonizing another world will help people understand more about space and its history. It will also help scientists learn more about other plants in our galaxy because we'll be closer to the moon. In one case, we'll be on it. <laughs> what I've learned about my topic: some fun facts. <laughs> Living things need five things to live. Energy, which is food, water, soil, good temperatures and gases. Mars atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, which is what we breathe out. <laughs> well, Earth's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen, which is which we use to make ex explosives, um, dyes and nylon. It rains sulfuric acid in Venus, so this, that's one of the reasons why I didn't choose it, because it would just melt with astronaut spacesuits. So Mercury is like a desert, because it is like around 430 Celsius in the day, but in the night it's colder than Antarctica. And the soil on Mars would burn your skin. So what room, what rooms are adding in my Mars colony? I'm adding a sports center so the astronauts can keep fit and have fun while doing it. Gyms so that astronauts can do important exercises to also help them stay fit. The games room so the astronauts can relax and play games in their downtime. A science lab so that astronauts can conduct experiments and compare the results to the results you get on Earth. Kitchen so the astronauts can help keep themselves well fed and occasionally treat themselves to a special meal. Dining room so the astronauts have a place to eat their food. Hospital, if any of the astronauts get a serious injury they can get treated here. Uh, a living room so the astronauts have a place to relax and read and watch like TV programs they brought with them in their spare time since you wouldn't be able to get the satellite stuff from Earth. <laughs> and the living quarters which is where they'll sleep and keep their stuff. Some rooms also have a first aid kit, like the, like the gym, the sports centre for minor injuries. Building materials. So I have Martian concrete, which is like using Martian soil and rocks instead of earth rocks and stuff. Because it'll be easy and cheap to make and you don't have to bring it with you. And my actual material that I used was cardboard, since most of the building would be made out of Martian concrete. And so there's a lot of cardboard. Steel, it's strong and durable, which is grey paint, and the, it'll be on the outside, for like dense. And it'll be good for, um, paint is good for covering large areas. And Kevlar, which is bulletproof, it's lightweight and easy to transport. And the red paint will be put on the inside because it's good for going in small places, like the corners. And here's my um, drawing of my model. Right. And then here's my digital design. And then this is my um, model. And so we've got the shower up there, shower. But bedrooms there, dining room, living room, sports centre, the gym, the games room, science lab, and the kitchen. The three main parts of my model was the storage room, so on the side it's shaped like a triangle so, when I, so I can put some solar panels on the side and get some energy from the sun. And then the solar panels are also an important part so they can, um, because they can um, get m more energy for the space base and they also look really good, the mirrors that I used. And then the rooms, the most exciting rooms are the gym the people who love working out and keeping those muscles buff. <laughs> the games room for enjoying fun games with other people and the living rooms for living it up with your crewmates. And then the reflection. What worked well with my model? I think what really worked with my model is the solar panels. They look really good and they serve their purpose well. The most difficult things was stop stopping the walls from falling down while they were still dry and they just wouldn't, they just wouldn't stay up. My favourite thing about the project was learning more about space. It was so interesting to learn the conditions of other planets. That's it. Let's give him a clap.